folks. Welcome to the channel. Crystal here. I hope the rest of your guys' summer went okay. It kind of feels to me that it either went one of two ways. It ended on a high note for most people or a low note. I hope all of you had a great rest of you know Labor Day weekend and had some time off to spend with friends and family. I, I don't know if anyone's interested, but I really wasn't doing anything special the last couple weeks. Just really working, working on myself. I've been trying to do a lot of self-improvement lately. I don't know, maybe it's just something when you turn 30, you guys will have to let me know, but I just kind of feel like I'm realizing this year that I did a lot of things wrong in the past, so. Hopefully going forward, I can try and rectify those and not not hurt people, not, not make bad choices. <laughs> so I think I have this video and three other boxes that are summer still. So my organization is going fantastic. <laughs> but you know, I hope you guys are understanding. I think as like a single childless person, to me, summer kind of ends at that landmark September 21st date. Labor Day, especially I guess to being a nurse, this kind of exacerbates it, but essentially like in nursing, it's really hard to get vacation during the summer. And it's also just like, I don't know, you don't have to do back to school stuff. So it's easier to enjoy those beautiful September days longer. So anyway, in my world, we're still gonna be doing some summer things for the next couple videos. I hope you don't mind. Bringing a new subscription box to the channel today. And I'm hoping this one will be a fan favorite for you guys because it is my lake box. <laughs> this box was kind of a straggler uh, for me. It was an end of summer purchase and it's like a pretty decent size. So I just like had it on the ground here, but it is a brand new box that I'm thinking we're gonna love because I feel like a lot of you guys do like the Lake Life box and this baby is essentially the fancier version of that box. And what I mean by that is the Lake Life box is like very affordable price. I think, and I'll put it down below if I'm wrong, but I think it's like in the $75 range. This box is $177, so quite a bit more. However, I do think it is an awesome box. And the reason I got it is I do think it kind of fills a need in the market by being kind of like a high-end luxury and also like customizable box. I don't know, I guess we'll see when we get into it. I think it just meets the demand for more Lake subscription boxes. <laughs> and I never thought I'd ever say that, but you know, the Lake Life box has been selling out. So if you didn't get one of those, maybe this will be one to check out. This box actually just came to my PO box this week. And the reason that is, is I think it had a late launch. This is the very first box for this box. So don't feel like you missed it if it's, it's just, I think honestly been out since the end of July, maybe. This box is produced by Halliburton Lakeware. I really feel like this box has tried to align itself with that larger company by making a lot of customizable pieces in here. I guess we'll see as we go through it. But when I went to order this box, I had to put in like where my lake is, what the name of it is. I think I also had to like put in my family name. I can't remember exactly everything, but you had to put in a few details that I imagine will translate onto the items in this box. Because this box has a lot of customizable components, I ordered it August 8th and then I wanna say it came like this past Monday, so like September 7th. So it does take a while to come. I'm gonna see if you can still get this box because I think they are trying to transition to their fall one. However, this one did launch, like I said, end of July. So I'm hoping you can still get it. Oh, it looks like they did post an unboxing. So sweet. You can watch on YouTube. So if you don't wanna watch mine, that's fine. You can go see it from them themselves, which is totally cool. Oh, it looks like you can get the fall box on sale right now for $148. So run, don't walk if you wanna get it. That's actually a nice little discount. Yeah, with shipping and everything, mine came to 177. I did have a 10% discount, but I think with the sale going on right now, it'll be even cheaper. Boiler wise, I think I know one thing that's in here that I'm really excited for, and I hope it's in here, but if it's not, it's okay, I'll, I'll live. But I think there's like a little, one of those little mini city campfire things in here. I don't know, we'll see. Obviously it's a lake and cottage theme box, but as for like who are the businesses in it, I think it's primarily stuff from Halliburton and Lakeware and then like a couple other little businesses have supplemented items in it. So yeah, 
I don't think this box makes any promises about retail value. It really is just like a vibey box. Like if you love like life, I'm hoping though to see my value out of it. I, that's just a huge pet peeve for me. I just, I really don't like it when boxes like aren't clear about where the value comes from. Oh, I'm still traumatized from the Vancouver city box. So yeah. I'm, I'm sure this box will be great. I'm really optimistic for it. Just about Halliburton Lakeware. The Halliburton Lakeware Company. Um, the owner's name is Jessica and it looks like they are based out of uh, Sunderland, Ontario. And they are really, you know, taking inspiration for this business from their own experiences of lake life culture in Canada, which is fantastic. It looks like they also support a lot of local organizations in that Halliburton area. That's kind of where they like to give back to because those are the lakes that inspire them. I guess finally too, I should say, like I don't think the clothing that Halliburton Lakeware makes is from like Canada, but they do the printing here in Canada. They use eco-friendly based inks, which is great. And if you're just looking to buy some clothing for yourself, it sounds like all of their clothing is unisex sizing. So that helps you make a decision about what you're gonna exactly order from a size point. Things might be a little oversized if you're a woman. Um, as for like gender wise for this box, I'm not sure who this box caters to, but I think it is like unisex, like the clothing. So I'm excited to see kind of who could have it. As for design, I really love this box. I think it's stunning. The color is gorgeous. All the little printed items. And yeah, it's it's a winner in my book. I do feel confident that I know like what a lot of the lake wear kind of goes for price-wise too. So hopefully if there's not prices included, I can make an accurate judgment, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. I'm like way, way too much talking here. I'm so excited for this box. I think it's gonna be the bomb.com. My outside of the box, it says unique and high quality finds for life at the lake and outdoors, which I'm assuming is Halliburton Lake Wears kind of like motto. It's a cute motto, I like it. I don't know what it is, if it's like the pandemic or I don't know, the summer. I just, I feel so connected to nature. And I'm not just, I'm not just saying that, like honestly my, Favorite thing I did all summer was like go for a hike and a kayak, like really made my life. These boxes ring truer and truer to me every time I get them, you know? Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, like I could go live in a tent in the wilderness right now and be completely happy with that. All right, let's open. Really well taped. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is so full and I just absolutely love it. Look how full it is, little sneak peek. Ooh, it's just brimming with goodies and I'm stoked. It's packed so aesthetically. It looks aesthetically, oh my God. I'm like, sometimes when I say aesthetic, it sounds like anesthetic. I don't know. I just have nurse brain, I guess. Okay, so off the very top, it looks like we have this little card that says My Lake Box. I'm assuming this might be the cheat sheet, so we won't take a look at it right away. Next thing on top of there, it looks like this, oh, this is a little like promo code for one of the businesses that are in here, so we'll skip over that and let's get into the items. First thing I see on top, a little cozy. And this name that's on here is the name of my family's cottage lake, Bear Lake. So I'm absolutely loving this. It just gives me like really cool 90s vibes. I don't know, I'm, I'm a 90s fanatic. So I, I love this. The style of this is point on for me. Next on top, we have some stickers. So I don't know if this is a coincidence or they were gonna include this, but this is a little bear sticker and my family cottage is on Bear Lake. So I don't know if that was special to me or like everyone got a bear sticker. And then I have a Halliburton Lake Aware sticker. This is the logo for the company. I think these are really cute. I will find a place for them. Maybe I should actually keep these for scrapbooking. I don't, I don't know, maybe. I have to do some serious scrapbooking. Like, I don't know why, but when I stopped living my life with the pandemic, also stopped organizing photos completely, completely. <laughs> Next on top <laughs> is a patch. And oh my God, I love this patch. Usually I'm not like, I love patches, but this is so cute. It says not all those who wander are lost and it's like a compass. Okay, I hate to mention the 90s again, but this totally gives me page master vibes. I really love it. I am gonna go for a really big item that's sitting on top. 
which I am just dying to look at. Okay, this is so cool. Be my first color choice. However, I do think it's an amazing color for fall. So really excited for that. Okay, the shirt has been totally customized and I am impressed. <laughs> I'm totally impressed. It says Bear Lake, French River, read, swim, repeat, which I like put in as my hobbies. I love reading and swimming and kayaking and all those good things. And it says established 2019. Fantastic. I love the design logo. I freaking love this. French River Bear Lake. Like this must be so much work to completely customize these t-shirts every single time, but they look fantastic. And as for quality, these t-shirts feel amazing. It looks like they have their own logo stamped inside the t-shirt. And I can't remember what it says. I got, oh, I got a 2XL. I got like a really good oversized coming with a tag on and everything. I feel like this t-shirt also, or maybe like anything in this box, really is super giftable. Kind of love that. And it looks like a gift you put a lot of thought and energy into because it's all customized. This little care tag on here is amazing, by the way, too. Okay, I'm gonna try and show this to you. So it's like for best results, you know, wash, hang to dry, do not iron the decos, which is fair. For worst results, drag behind a boat and throw in a dock to dry. <laughs> well, that actually probably does happen to this clothing, but that's hilarious that they just kind of like called it out there. I actually kind of love this item. This is from a Canadian company, obviously, you can see. From Covered Bridge, these are potato chips. Thick cut, which I love myself a thick cut potato anytime. <laughs> Looks like they are made in Atlantic Canada, which I love. This is like one of the first businesses I've ever had in a subscription box that is like a down east company. So that's really cool. And like props to them for giving us a full size snack. Most of the time subscription boxes like single size serving packets, which that's fine. And I know that's kind of like a standard in the business community. Give us the full size snack. And you did, you committed. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so five items so far, which I think is awesome and it looks like there's still a lot of items in here so let's dig into it another clothing item sitting on top that i am just dying to get into is this cap i love this what's the name of this again like the gen z's know is it called the dad cap is that what this is i love the color dying i'm in love with this and it's got like little uh, brass feature on the back. I, I, if I didn't have my hair up, I would be putting this on my head. It's so high quality and it's got like this kind of like worn look. So this is from Nisi Cap. So it looks like it's something that Halliburton like wear bought specifically maybe for this box. But yeah, they have embroidered lettering on it, which I love myself some embroidery. Fantastic. This item's a win for me. Also like the sun protection component of this. So smart for summer. Like it's a practical and it's cute and trendy. I'm totally down for that. I'm a kid in the candy store. Oh my gosh, this box has renewed my faith in humanity. I know that seems dramatic, but um, let me just tell you guys, my life has been a trip lately. So the box is touching all the places in my heart. Next up, this mug. Oh my goodness, I can't explain to you how great this mug is over like video, I don't think. Because like, I know you get mugs all the time and stuff. And you're like, oh, I got a mug, like great. This is actually incredible. It feels incredible. It's like tin. It's like really sturdy. It's, it's amazing. I'm like in love with this. It's so big. Look how massive it is. Oh, and it's got another sticker in it. <laughs> another Halliburton Lake wear sticker in it. Love it, love it. But I love this and it says Bear Lake and I just love the logo. Again, like very 80s, 90s, loving it. Here for the style. Like everything on this box from a style perspective to me anyway, on point. It almost seems like it's insulated a little bit. It doesn't say that anywhere, but like the way the lid's done, it almost feels like it's got a good thickness to it. So. I imagine it would keep your drinks cold. I love these like tin aluminum drink vessels for coffee. I like fill them up with that coffee, throw them in the fridge, and then I have like a nice coffee that afternoon. So I'm sure this one will be in my rotation, especially because it is so massive. It can need that really good energy kick in the afternoon. Thank you, Laura, for letting me just find this box on Instagram because literally I, I could tell you, I was like on the rails after that Vancouver city box. <sighs> I'm so happy. I am so happy. You guys, French toast marshmallows. What? 
I didn't know life could be this good again. Like, honestly, I didn't know. Thanks, this is from Hudson Valley Marshmallow Co., which Marshmallow Co., like, why didn't I think of that as a business job? That would be amazing. Like, your job is to make marshmallows. Love it. That is the best. I love this. So handmade, all natural, homemade marshmallows, French toast flavor. I wonder what other flavors they do because like that is like putting seasoning on a marshmallow. So smart. Like what a cool idea to make like something that's so kitty, like completely adult level treat. And actually the calories in these aren't bad. Five little marshmallows, 80 calories. Not, not horrible horrible, honestly. Our marshmallows have always been inspired by memories. Even better, the moments you share at the breakfast table. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. This is the best. And then as I mentioned, I think there's like a few things to go with these marshmallows. So I'll just do them all together. It looks like, as I mentioned, <laughs> I already mentioned, they have this city bonfires, which is like a little bonfire kit. Easy to light, portable for outdoor use only, convenient, adult use only well i mean or responsible adult use okay so not lighting it just opening it so you can see it doesn't have a smell to it but this is what it looks like on the inside it looks like almost like a wax candle with like four little burner systems inside of it this is really cool i'd seen these on instagram really good size hefty little item really excited to use it uh, this is, like I said, the only item that I knew came in this box because I had seen a post about it. And it was actually one of the reasons I was attracted to this box because I was like, okay, I get the Lake Life box. What will make this box like special? And then when I saw this post, I was like, oh, this is so cool. I've been dying to try this. And uh, I definitely will be looking forward to giving it a spin this, this fall. I mean, what's the best part about fall? campfires right cool nights and warm campfires so i believe this then goes with these items as well the s'mores kit and this is from dick and taylor craft chocolate a bunch of the companies that are in here never heard of them but i'm actually loving this and i wonder i don't know like are these guys canadian okay this says level up your s'mores game with our elevated version of the summertime classic including dark chocolate uh, vanilla marshmallows, buttery flaky effie oat cakes. So opening it up, it looks like this on the inside. So yeah, you have your two little homemade marshmallows, two strips of dark chocolate, and then your little effie's oat cakes inside. This is great. And this is like a lot of dark chocolate. <laughs> I love this. This is like, again, it's a really cute way to elevate like a late tradition to make it adulty and it does feel very like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. Like it just feels very luxe. All right, next up. Oh my God, this thing just keeps going. This is, this, this is coffee. This is from Hikers Brew Trail Coffee, which is out of the United States. Looks like it's out of Wyoming. Chocolatey toasted marshmallow Colombian medium blend. Fantastic a s'more coffee treat. I didn't even know that was a thing. I love this. This is fantastic as well. Oh my God, every item in this box is a win for me. Like there's not a single item that I was like, oh, mm, no, like I love it all. This this box is the bomb.com. It is. So this coffee, I'm so excited to try. I'm a huge coffee drinker. So this makes sense for me. We're a tea drinker. This looks like it's enough for like one, um, like, pot of coffee so to speak so i also love that they went for a bigger serving size and not just like a one serving size that that really feels like quality to me i don't know what you guys have for coffee makers at your camps or lakeside homes or you, maybe you just your lake home is your real home i do love though cowboy coffee is an option do you remember that like have you guys ever gone camping and did cowboy coffee i kind of kind of love that's what it's called. I didn't know that's what it was called, but cowboy coffee. Yeah, makes me want to drink it more. I think there's like four more items in here, which is insane to me, insane to me. I need to like move stuff because it's it's way more than what I thought. It's way more. <laughs> Let's go smaller to larger. Wilder & Co. All Natural Bug Repellent on the go. It's like a little tin. I've seen these tins used for mints before, but I think it's also a cute idea for bug repellent. And you open it up and you can, I guess, rub it and rub it on your neck or wherever you don't want the bugs to bite you. It does smell like a citronella candle, so I wonder if you just open it and put it on your tabletop. That would even work as well. It does smell though good. Like I like the smell of citronella, so totally cool with me. It says it's got essential blend, avocado oil, almond oil, beeswax, and coconut oil. So it's not vegan friendly, but it is 
a cute little item and I think it adds value to the box. I haven't seen any product like this before where it's like a rub-on bug repellent that you can take with you, but this might be a nice thing for the fall where like bugs are low or, you know, August end where things are kind of dying down, but you still maybe need a little bit of extra coverage at night. Also, something from Wilder & Co, which I love. I mean, no one else is probably, everyone's like, oh God, Crystal, more hand sanitizer. It's a hand sanitizer. <laughs> so Wilder & Co, a vanilla, cedar and vanilla hand sanitizer. Cedar and vanilla, that's like a great combo that I didn't even think of until this moment. So I still feel like hand sanitizer would win for like a camp or a lake-based cottage, right? Because I mean, you don't always have running water on you. It actually smells like way more vanilla-y than, than cedary, but it's nice. I really like it. Like it's like a really nice, mm, mm, there's the cedar. It's like a really nice mature smell. I really love it. This is like what people in their 30s smell like, cedar and vanilla. It's like sophisticated, mysterious. Not like me. Like I, I literally bought a perfume from Glossier this past year. Like what am I doing? Like Glossier's for like teenagers. Oh my God. I'm rejecting adultism in the, in the worst way possible. <laughs> okay, so very, I think this is the very last item. I think this is the last item. However, the way this box has been going, something could just pop out at any minute, but. Last item is a candle. Yes, yes. Candle, candle, candle. So this is from Lakeside Moon Lake Musk Candle from Denver, Colorado. This is hand poured soy candle, 45 hour burning time. The design on it is beautiful, love that. The only thing, I'm just not sure how I'm gonna get into it. It is kind of set up like a paint can on top. I don't know if you see that. So I need like almost a screwdriver. Are you surprised my screwdriver is pink? No. Okay. All right, got it open. Oh my God, this smells amazing. This candle smells like the boyfriend I don't have. Okay, I need to be left alone with this candle. <laughs> I love this box. It didn't disappoint me. Did it disappoint you guys? What do you think? $177. I'm impressed. I like it. I, for some reason, thought there was three clothing items in here. Like, I actually thought there was going to be more clothing items, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Because there was only really the t-shirt and the hat. Like, they definitely, I don't know why. I thought there'd be, like, a sweater in here. But still not disappointed. feel like I just got super quality items. There, let's do a little roundup on how many items we have. 14 items? Is that right? Let me try again. So if you count the uh, stickers as like one item and the patch as one item, like separate, I know some places include them sometimes. Let's say they're separate. That's 14 items. I just found a new amazing Canadian box. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I know sometimes these boxes are complete duds, but this one, I'm happy. I'm really happy. I am gonna do a price roundup, which I will include here with the magic of internet editing. Hey guys, Editing Crystal here. I'm coming at you with prices for the box. That little card I showed at the beginning of the video didn't actually have prices on it. It more just had a warning saying homemade marshmallows do not last that long, which good to know. But I still really want to go through the prices because I think it's important. This is a really expensive box being $177. We just want to make sure 100% that we got the $177 out of it. Also, a lot of the prices were in American, so I have converted them to Canadian. Just so you know, all prices are Canadian, but a large majority of the companies in this box were American. Here is what I have from prices from my research. All right, the first item we opened was the Cozy. Cozy, I couldn't find an exact price on because it was a custom made product, but looking online, I'm gonna guesstimate that this is a roughly in the $5 realm for retail. Wholesale price, you're looking for one or $2. Stickers, I couldn't find a price for those, but I just decided to leave them out of the counts. We could just assume they're kind of like a little add-on. So whatever the price of the box is, it's probably a little bit more than, than what we guessed because I didn't include the stickers. The patches, these patches are uniformly across the board $7.50 offered by the Halliburton Co. Company and they are supposed to replicate 80s Boy Scout patches, which I think they do wonderfully. T-shirt, we are looking at a value of $32 Canadian and that is from the Halliburton Co. Company. There's a lot of different designs that you could get or could see in future boxes. So just so you're aware, there's a whole array of things out there to get. The Covered Bridge chip 
chips. They're valued at $3 Canadian. And this I think was the only Canadian company outside the Halliburton Lakeware that was included in the books. The Nisi Cap hats, they're sold wholesale only. So I had a hard time finding what the exact cost was. However, looks like from other Nisi Caps that are sold on Etsy, they go for roughly around $25. So I think that's reasonable as well. The customized mug, again, lots of different options in style and design, but they go for a baseline price of $32.50 from the Halliburton Lakeware Company. The Hudson Valley Cinnamon Marshmallows, they come to $6.30 Canadian. The City Bonfires came to $43, almost on the dot in Canadian dollars. The Dick Taylor S'mores kit was hard to locate a price on because they are sold out, it looks like everywhere, but I, I'm imagining they cost around $18 Canadian, which is crazy expensive for what, what it is, but that's what they seem to charge for it and they're sold out, so who am I to judge? The coffee came in like a sampler pack from Hiker's Brew, just kind of dividing the total price of the sampler by the, the one we got. I imagine it costs $4 and 15 cents per a brew pack. The Wilder & Co products, bundling them together, it looks like they cost a total of $25.30 Canadian for the two of them. And very last but not least, the candle, which I wrongly said in the video was from Lakeside. It's actually from More Candle Co. is a half pint and it is valued at $30.34 Canadian. So very pricey. <laughs> the grand total of this box, I'm imagining is in the realm of $235 Canadian more than got our retail value out of this box, which is fantastic to see. I really don't feel like either I stretched the prices of any of the items here. Value is definitely there. I hopefully in future coming boxes, the My Lake Box team at Halliburton Lakeware show off, you know, actually this box has a great retail value and kind of use that as a selling point because they should. It, it has really cool items and they're kind of expensive luxury items. Yeah. What do you guys think? Were you surprised by the retail value price that I found or did that seem about right to you? Um, so <laughs> the only downside I will say to this box is now I have all the supplies to go move to the woods. I need to like follow through on my commitment and do <laughs> and make that happen. <laughs> no, is this just me? Am I the only one having this reaction to the pandemic where I'm like, I just want to be incredibly alone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, ma'am. Let me know what you guys think of this box. Would you get it? Would you fork up the $177 four times a year being a seasonal box for it? Bought something from Halliburton Lakeware before. From what I can see here, everything looks incredible in quality. I know like some companies will charge, some of these lake companies will charge like 80 bucks for a sweater. And sometimes I do wonder like, is that cost justified? Where exactly is that item coming from that, that makes that cost like that? But for the items that are here, I really do feel the value from a quality standpoint is here. I think if you are really looking for an awesome box with customizable components, this is a box for you. I guess too, from looking at other Lake brands, I know an often common criticism they get is that things are not customizable. So to know that there is a Canadian company kind of filling that gap in the market and now doing it in subscription box format is fantastic. Yeah, like honestly, I'm, I'm sure other company owners are like annoyed, but I, I feel like they're often asked like, can you make the name of my lake, blah, blah, blah. And they're often like, no, no, no. It's good to know Halliburton Lakeware, they will do you a solid and really go the extra mile here with these awesome custom designs and naming and just stuff that's really trendy. First class, first class box people, in my opinion, which, probably for nothing. Leave questions, comments, concerns in uh, down the thing below. Put them down there in the little thing. I hope you guys are doing well. Please, please get vaccinated. If you haven't been vaccinated, please do that. Honestly, it's it's so important that you do that. I'm saying that from a place of love. I want to keep seeing you guys around the channel. I've like been comparing my life to the Titanic a lot lately, but I feel like I'm you know the boat designer when the boat's like sinking when the titanic's going down and he's like to the maid he's like such a pretty face put a life jacket on i feel the same guys such beautiful viewers such beautiful subscribers please get your vaccination life jacket put it on and it'll just give me peace of mind that you're all are okay thank you so much for watching please do well be well st stay well just do all the well things, and we will see you very soon with the new video. Bye. You know what? I'm gonna try one of these, and because I just, I guess I can't wait to like test out this amazing flavor combo. 
Mm. I know these are like supposed to be toasted, but totally delicious as is. Very much a homemade marshmallow, if you can tell, like just so wholesome tasting. So a fan. I wonder like if you could make like an apple s'more with these. That'd be so good, you know, like a slice of apple, this, maybe like a caramel drizzle. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Would recommend these. Mm.